Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our mass making sessions and we are up to, I think it is now week number nine of our mass making extra time sessions that we're running. Um, so for those people who watch my channel, we have been doing reruns. So we've done 100 mass making sessions. We've done 100 reruns of the mass making sessions. And now we're just doing a 10 week block of what we're calling extra time, which are things that we've never mass made before, which we're, you know, attempting to mass make now. Um, so I think I'm right in saying that we are week eight, although actually I could be wrong. We could be even week nine of the extra time. I've now lost lost track of that as well, I'm afraid. So um, anyway week eight or week nine of the extra time so what are we making today we are making the paper bundles which were inspired by it was i've got my ipad here beside me so i'm looking it was week 10 of the roxy's weekly challenge so the lovely rachel over at roxy creations she did the lovely paper bundles and we've made them before um because i did join in her weekly challenge but it was a long time ago to be honest um because obviously it was only week 10 um so yeah i thought they would be a nice thing to come and mass make and i really really loved making them when i made them before i can remember thinking they were so super fun to make so that's what we are making today so if you want to join along what are you going to need you are going to need paper so that's the first thing so i have brought along printables and i say this every week i've brought along printables because that's what i predominantly have in my stash you can use any paper that you have. You can use book page, you could use sheet music. I mean, you could use magazine page if you like, you know, scrapbook paper, anything really that kind of works for you. Now, if you're using scrapbooking paper, I would recommend the thinner. I'm just seeing whether I've got some beside me. Uh, have I got some? Uh, no, I haven't. So, no, I haven't. Um, I would recommend the thinner scrap bit paper, so not the really thick stuff. You know, they get like the 250 GSM. I wouldn't probably use that only because these, um, you know, part of the beauty of them is that they're quite flimsy and um, floppy sort of paper fillery um, rather than a sort of solid, big, you know, chunky, robust pocket. Um, so that's why I wouldn't use the, you know, the thicker uh, scrapbook paper so my printables I've printed them on this 120 I think it is or 110 GSM paper um, and I have coffee dyed it just quickly just now before switching the camera on and then I've also printed three sheets of vellum um, in my case this is tracing paper it's thicker than your you know flimsy tracing paper that you used to get at school um again i think this might be 100 gsm or it could be 90 um but i thought we could make some from the vellum or the tracing paper you are going to need some scissors if you prefer you can use a paper trimmer i like to use scissors um but it's up to you and then you're going to need some glue now again i always use anita's tacky glue generally when um gluing paper items um but you can use you know whatever glue that you like I've got my blendy tool and my distress ink. Again, you know, they're kind of optional things really that you might like to have. I think that's pretty much it. Obviously, depending if you want to decorate your pieces up, you may want some pieces to decorate. My desk being my desk, I've got pieces all over the place that I can use to decorate, but we will only decorate one up at the end. So let's get making these, shall we? Oops, I've already now dabbed a load of um, glue onto my my vellum or my tracing paper so i'm going to put all these to one side and i'm just going to pull in one that we will get started with so let's use this now i am going to try and remember to tell you the papers that i'm using as we go so it's one-sided um but it's been coffee dyed on the back and you do want to either coffee dye the back or use double-sided because you're going to just see a tiny bit of the insides um so i think one of my sheets i have actually got a double-sided sheet um, but yeah, up to you kind of how you do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it and fold it in. Now, if I recall, when I made these before, they were actually a little bit too big when I made them the full size of an A4 sheet of paper. So I will trim my paper down, but I think actually it's probably going to be quicker. And because we're mass making here, so we're trying to do things, you know, very efficiently, I think it's going to be quicker to actually trim it once I've you know once I've folded it all up so I'm just going to take my piece now I'm going to cut down whoops cut down at the bottom 
like this because again like i say if i recall it was a case of you know they were a little bit too big using the whole sheet of paper now, i haven't probably made a brilliant job of cutting that but i don't think it really matters too much and then we're just going to take it up and fold it like that so you've folded it in half on the long edge across there we've cut it and then we're folding it up again now again i don't measure and i'm probably going to have varying size um pockets so you know this one is i would say yeah perhaps kind of a third fold it a third up thereabouts again it doesn't really matter how accurate you are and then i'm going to trim down on the side now this is where you may want to have your paper trimmer so i'm just going to take a sliver off of the side of here okay just because if i recall i think we said last time they were a little bit too you know too wide um but you know kind of vary them to to suit your yourself basically so and who knows you might want to have some quite wide ones and some narrower ones so you know just kind of vary it and do as you as you fancy now my paper's a little bit soggy still because i have only just coffee dyed it so it's not cutting brilliantly because it's still a little bit on the soggy side so that's why i'm making an exceptionally bad job of cutting it i mean don't get me wrong i'm sure that my cutting's not brilliant either but I'm making an exceptionally bad job because it's still a little bit soggy so what you're going to do then is you've got your piece of paper which has been trimmed down on you know both height ways and you know uh, down the side and then what Rachel did if I recall she kind of folded over some little sort of scrappy edges like this just so it's got a bit more interest going on so and again you know just do this as as big or as small as you like but you're just doing it so as it looks like it's been laying around in the attic you know for sort of yonks which is you know it's quite a nice kind of look isn't it and then you're going to get something to wrap around it now actually this is why i think last time i did think it was better to cut it first because then i used the bits that i had cut off to wrap around aha uh -huh. right so I could still use this, it's fine. Even though I folded it, it's still fine. So what I'm going to do is trim it down because it's actually a little bit on the wide side. Actually, that's probably still a bit wide. So I'm just going to chop that down like that, okay. Now, probably got, well, not too, too bad, to be honest. So that's going to be my little strip that I'm going to go around to hold my pocket closed now because obviously this is just plain on the other side so i mean of course you could take some decorative paper but if you wanted to just use the bit that you've cut off what i thought we might do is and this is a bit of an addition so i should have mentioned that i was going to do this um i'm going to take some stamps and some black stays on and i'm just going to actually that's probably not the best let me just have a look. Oops, I'm just going to stamp on my piece of paper. So now, depending on where I'm going to have it, so I could actually kind of fold it there, but I probably just do it in the center. So I'm just going to do it like that. So I don't really even need to stamp kind of, you know, past these lines. So just to cut down on the stamping, so like that. Okay, and then just a little bit here. Oh gosh, must make sure I've got my stamps up the right way. Okie dokie. Like that, okay. Just because I thought that's a bit more interesting then than having a plain piece of paper. <clears throat> And then what you could do is, of course, rough that up in the edges. So, and again, all of these are just optional kind of details. You don't have to do this, but I thought this might be quite nice. So like that, and then like that. I mean, it would have looked fine, you know, plain, but I think just adding a little bit of decorative detail is kind of nice. And then we're just going to then glue this together at the back, just like a little band. 
holding this pocket then together like that and that's it that's your pocket done so then what you've got is let me just grab a journal card or a couple so these are probably too wide but i'm just showing you you've got a pocket here or a belly band here you've got a pocket here oh they do fit that pocket here you've got a pocket here Oops. and then you've got a big pocket here in the back and then if you glue these down, so it's up to you, you could obviously use this as a little floating piece in your journals, kind of paper clipped in or, you know, popped in a pocket. Or, of course, you could actually glue this onto the page, you know, on three sides, and then you could have it as a pocket in here as well, or, you know, this side, and obviously these pockets. So you've got loads and loads of room for different pockets on these. So they're really great kind of space, aren't they? And then, of course, we could just ink this up a little bit just so it looks whoops, a bit more grungy still and then just a little bit over the, the belly band piece like that there we go what a scrumptious pocket so I mean they really couldn't be easier could they so let's put that to one side I will run you through one more um but I probably don't really need to kind of like keep talking you through after this one because they are very simple so we're going to do it exactly the same in that I will cut it down afterwards. So this is from my, um, uh, I think it's Bluebird Blossoms or Blossoms and Bluebirds, something like that. I can't remember the exact name, so I'm so, so sorry. Um, so we're going to take our piece and we're going to fold it up. Now I'm just going to fold it up like this first and then I'm going to cut it down. So like that and then I'm just going to snip this oops, snip this off and actually just because I think this would be easier I'm going to cut this down here like that and then I'm going to cut it a second time okay and actually then I could even use these for you know for another couple so we'll just kind of leave those there for the minute and then we're just going to go down the edge again to you know make it narrower and like I say, I mean, it's up to you really how big they are. Um, I just can recall thinking that mine were perhaps a little bit on the wide side last time. So, although now I've got a funny feeling that actually I think maybe I said then that I preferred the wide ones. I don't know. Anyway, we are then going to take our little pieces here, fold them over. You know, again, just kind of like fold them how you like, but you're just making a bit of bit of interest as if they've been you know squished up in the attic like that and then you can take your little strips and make your little belly band piece I'm not going to do that on this one because what I will do is maybe mix and match my papers so we're going to make a belly band and actually you wouldn't even have to use paper if you wanted to use something like ribbon you could do that instead that would be quite a nice kind of alternative wouldn't it just to mix it up and do some different things. So in fact, shall I do that? Because, you know, I've just got this ribbon actually here. So let's just do that here. Or, you know, I could have put the ribbon over the top of the, you know, the paper belly band, to be honest. That would have also been, you know, a, a good look and that would have also worked. So like that. And then again, just, you know, ink it up a little bit it doesn't really need a great deal of inking because like I say I had coffee dyed these but just so it looks you know very scrumptious like it's come come from the attic so aren't they just gorgeous and to be honest I think we're going to get a lot of these made I can't really see how long I've been filming for but they're very very quick to make so we're just going to whiz through them now I'm going to do them assembly line and for anyone who doesn't watch my channel what I mean by that is all the stages in one go so i'll do all the folding together all the you know the cutting together and then all of the um you know the gluing of the belly band pieces together so we're going to kind of like then be yeah assembly line in as if we were in a factory really so just going to take these pieces like this and fold them up and then i will cut them in a moment so like that and this is from my savile row collection these ones here, these are from my um, Pink Parisian collection. So, uh, not collection, sorry, just set, yeah. Um, 
and yeah we'll just relax now and have a nice time kind of mass baking some of these so i hope everybody has had a good start to their week if you watch my channel you'll know that i generally do these videos on a monday ready to go up for you guys on the tuesday so obviously my week's only just you know just started um but you guys are obviously slightly more into your week being tuesday now so i hope it's all panning out well for you so it's it's quite sunny out there now it was not great first thing when i went to the gym this morning oh sorry this was from my pink paris papers uh yeah it wasn't great this morning when i went to the gym it was raining and you know miserable but it's cheered up a little bit now this is from my uh french collection papers i'm just wondering which way around to have this i think up here yeah and actually i might cut the top off this one instead okie dokie so what is new with everybody well what's new with me not a, not a great deal it's got to be said so what did I do at the weekend? Um, I, I just worked quite a bit at the weekend. Um, Saturday, oh, Saturday I did go out with um, Natalie, my sister, and um, the children. And we just went over and we took the dog for a walk and things. The dog was staying with my son and his boyfriend, like, for the weekend. Um, you know, my son went and stayed there and he took Bo with him. So, yeah, I was already missing Bo, so I wanted to go and see her. So, yeah, we went over there and we just, like, had a coffee with them and things. So that was all really nice. Just thinking, yeah, sorry. Just trying to concentrate a little bit on where I want to, you know, where I'm going to be cutting these down. Um, so that was really nice. This is from my Savile Row papers again. This is from the Rose Park papers. So, yeah, that was quite nice. Um, it was absolutely freezing on saturday when i went to the gym it was two and a half degrees in the car um on the way there it kind of warmed up um a little bit but i think even at the you know middle of the day it still was only I think six degrees or something like that it was yeah it was pretty cold to be honest so that was a bit woo -hoo, bit of a shock to the system because although we've had like tons and tons of rain we actually haven't had much, you know, too much um, in the way of cold weather. So, yeah, obviously, that's much more, you know, apt for this time of year, isn't it? But it still doesn't mean it's not a shock when it <laughs> happens. So, yeah, that was that was a bit shocking. But anyway, so that was Saturday. And then yesterday, um, yeah, I went and picked my son and the dog back up. Um, I just had a coffee with my other son and yeah just that was it really for the whole day so this was my myrtle cottage um papers and so is this sheet as well so um yes yeah, so that was kind of it for the weekend i have finished watching the crown now so and when i say finished watching there are more episodes to come but i think i talked about this before and i said you know i wasn't sure whether the whole series was on there but I've heard them talking about what's going to be happening in the series. Um, well, the series is not on there yet, if you see what I mean. It's coming. Um, yeah, it is coming, but it's not on there yet. So when I finished the series, it came up sort of saying the next, the next few episodes. I think there's four more episodes or something like that. They're coming. It was something like the 4th of December. So... I'm all caught up and just now waiting for the next episodes. So, yeah, I've kind of flown through those. Now, these are some new papers that I'm just working on as we speak. So these are going to be the clocks collection. Um, but these are some that I've just been printing out um, over the weekend while I was working on them. So I thought, well, I might as well just use this. So, yeah, these should be in my shop in the next, um, hopefully, a few days. But it could be next next week. Um so, yeah, anyway, so I'm all caught up with that. Went to the cinema and watched the new Hunger Games. Now, I've talked about this quite a bit because I think I've talked about it for the last two weeks. Um, yeah, I hadn't seen the trailer or anything, so I didn't know really kind of what to expect. Well, I have to say it was really good. They, um, yeah, they really kind of like, uh, what's the word, like captured the tone of the Hunger Games 
you know, the other four Hunger Games films that have been out. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. So very, very different story. Um, well, I say very different story. Not really, I suppose. This is my pink Parisian again. Um, very different from the point of view this didn't include Catless and all the, you know, original or all the the normal characters. So it was very different from that point of view. But um, yeah, it was it was very good. They've done it really, really well. Because, I mean, obviously, it's quite hard to do, you know, a film making it similar when it's none of the cast members that are in the original, if you see what I mean. And this one didn't have any of the, you know, the cast members. So I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but it was, it was, I wouldn't say quite equally as good because I thought the originals were brilliant, but it was pretty good. So yeah, we did enjoy it. Now this is another one of the clocks um, papers um, and it's backed onto the French collection papers. So yeah, it just happened that, you know, I was printing them kind of had to, you know different sort of papers kind of on the go so i'm just going to have the pink kind of like on the inside now just have to be a bit mindful that this did not print out quite as it should have done you know so i've got some bits on there so let's just see i think i want it this way up now which way have i got that non-borderless edge there so yeah, I might have to cut a little bit from each edge. Anyway, we shall see. Um, so that's that one. And let's do one or two in the vellum as well. So I've got this. This is from my Claridge's papers. And it's obviously printed on the tracing paper. So let's do one with the tracing paper as well. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was quite good. This week, that film Napoleon has come out. Now, I have to say, I've not even seen the trailer of that. But obviously showing my ignorance completely here i don't really know anything about napoleon um you know the story of napoleon or anything like that you know um yeah my my history on that particular period not great so yeah it's going to be a sort of learning exercise for me watching that movie so i'm quite looking forward to watching that at some point this week hopefully <clears throat> right now what i'm going to do i'm going to cut them all down to size so yeah, this one, I'm just going to cut it down, you know, quite a bit, really. Um, yeah, not even seen the trailer, though, to that. So, but I mean, I'm sure it's going to be, you know, pretty good, to be honest. So, you know, and if nothing else, hopefully I'll learn a bit, <laughs> learn a bit about my history that's really lacking. So, yeah, I think we're going to try and see that. Um just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's placed an order in the last week so thank you so so much to everyone who's placed an etsy order for digitals obviously um you know making the most of my black friday discount that i was running and of course as well thank you so so much to everybody who placed an order on my um uh, shabbydabbydoodah.co.uk website I really really appreciate your support and you know I yeah I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it really so thank you so so much now that one I'm thinking actually I might leave a bit taller and just take a very small slither from the edge um yeah so thank you so so much for all your support and all your orders and things so have been very very busy doing a lot of work um you know trying to keep my my website um shabbydabbydoodah.co.uk stocked with you know with goodies and so it's you know it's fun to go across and have a look at there's you know it's not much fun if everything's out of stock so yeah i've been really busy kind of with that so yeah just thank you so much because um you know it really just is you know really humbling that kind of people are going there and shopping so i really really appreciate it thank you so much um and also actually thank you to everybody who still um you know kind of buys me a coffee and things like that on both my kofi or my buy me a coffee um page so yeah i just want to um yeah just say a massive thank you really because you know that's really thoughtful and really kind of people to actually kind of like go across and you know buy a coffee and things because of course you know i know 
it's not necessarily going to be at the top of anyone's you know thoughts to kind of do that so I really do appreciate it and I try not to be constantly sort of saying about those sites and things so you know it really does mean a lot that people are still you know bothered and kind of go across and uh, you know buy me a coffee so that's really really kind of you thank you so much now I have to say I have been really struggling with my mojo lately and I know I've said this you know a few weeks ago I was hoping it was going to have returned it kind of returned a little bit um you know but it's returned you know and I've been obviously busy stocking my shop and things like that and I think that's the thing it's quite hard kind of you know when you're thinking oh I, I must you know must do this to then get your head around you know doing something else and so I've been kind of, you know, it's on my radar that obviously Christmas is coming and I've not put out a Christmas kit. And this is the first year, um, the first year for four years or five years, I think, that I've not made a Christmas kit so far. So, yeah, I'm, well, a few weeks ago, I sat down and, you know, spent two days trying to make a Christmas kit. It kind of didn't really, you know, didn't really come together. Um, so I kind of like left it and just thought, oh, well, I'll come back to it. So I may or may not come back to it. It's got to be said. I'm just struggling to, um, yeah, to get it to come together, really. So, you know, there may or may not be a Christmas kit. It is on my radar that Christmas is coming. And I do apologise if anyone was waiting for my Christmas kit. Um, I will see what I can do. I don't know whether I'm going to actually manage to, you know, to pull anything together or not. Um, like I say, I just seem to be struggling at the moment to kind of focus and keep my focus where it needs to be. So, uh, yeah, I shall see, see if I can come up with anything, but I do apologise if I don't. Um, you know, really I'm very, very sorry. So, and I do realise, you know, it's quite late anyway to, you know, to still be working on it. So, yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Right, oh gosh, I've made a horrible wonky job of the top of this pocket. Okay. Oops. Okie dokie. Oh my goodness. My cutting was kind of okay and now it's just really gone out the window. But I'm not going to worry too much because, to be honest, this actual corner is going to be folded over anyway. So... It probably isn't, you know, isn't kind of the end of the world, if I'm truthful. Luckily, you know, that's more luck than judgment. But, yeah, not going to get too stressed about it. Okay. 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 Yeah, I've been... Um, I, well, my son said, oh, you know, what should we get Bo for Christmas? So, you know, Bo, obviously, for anyone who doesn't watch my channel, she's my dog. And, um, yeah, this is going to be the first Christmas that she's actually with us. So we didn't have her last Christmas. Um, she's not a puppy or anything, but, yeah, she, we, you know, she wasn't living with us last Christmas. So, um, yeah, I said, oh, you know, I don't know, really, just get her some treats I suppose and then um you know we talked about it and we said actually wouldn't it be great to get her one of those ball launcher throw machine things um I don't know if you've seen them but I've I've just seen them like on Amazon and stuff you know like where they pop the ball out and then you obviously train the dog to go and run after the ball and then bring the ball and put it back into the ball launcher because oh my goodness I mean Bo could literally have you throwing the ball all day literally the whole day she never, ever gets tired of that game. So, um, yeah, she would absolutely love, 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 love one of those. And to be honest, I think she would learn to use it quite quickly because, um, you know, I've got like some little steps going up to my bed now because she couldn't quite reach to get up onto the bed. So I've just got like a little set of like, they're like a uh, polystyrene type thing, but they've got a cover on them, some steps that I've just got again from um, Amazon. And quite quickly, she learned how to use them. I just kind of, you know, tap on the bed and keep saying, you know, go, go to your steps, up your steps. And quite quickly, she learned, you know, oh, 
you know, she wants me to go up my steps. So I think she'd quite quickly get to grips with the whole ball launcher thing, you know, popping the ball back in. Um, but they're so incredibly expensive. I don't know whether any of you guys have got one. So let me know below if you've got a dog and you've got one of those ball launchers. Because the other thing is, they have got mixed reviews. So some people are saying that they're fantastic and some people are saying rubbish, you know. Now, I don't know really whether that's because people's dogs aren't going back and putting the ball in or, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, some of them, because there's different ones, there was a much cheaper one and, you know, I did look at the reviews of that and people said, oh, you know, it just like literally spits the ball out kind of like almost like just on the floor it doesn't launch the ball kind of throwing it which of course you know that's part of what the dog is loving you know is running miles to go and get the ball so of course that would be you know that would be a rubbish experience wouldn't it um yeah so let me know below do you have a dog and if you do do you have one of those ball launchers do you know what what i'm talking about <laughs> have you seen them do you know anybody else who's got one what what do they think or what do you think of them are they worth it? Does your dog absolutely love them? Honestly, I mean, Bo just loves, loves, loves the whole, you know, ball type game. And, you know, she gets to, we get to a certain time of day and she's obviously like bored stiff and she's like, oh, come on, mum, you know, you've been ignoring me all day. She's often just in her bed beside my, you know, beside me here at my desk. And then it gets to like tea time and normally, you know, if I'm cooking and I use that term loosely because... I'm not any great shakes in the kitchen, I can assure you. But yeah, I'm I'm just in the kitchen doing, you know, something very basic. That's when she decides, oh, come and play with me, play throwing me the ball, and she'll just run off and get her ball, and she'll just keep on dropping it at my feet, and then she just nudges it over to you, you know. She's like, come on, play with me, play with me. So then I find myself having to just throw the ball to her, which is fine. Um... But obviously, if I'm cooking something where I'm like chopping veg and things like that, then of course I have to keep on them washing my hands, like, you know, because I'm touching the ball and then I'm touching the food and, you know, touching the ball, touching the food, touching the ball, touching the food. So it's not the best, you know, from a hygiene point of view. So, um, yeah, it would be quite cool if she could have one of those ball launchers. She might have either played with her ball launcher already whilst I was working and then she'd have that out of her system by tea time wouldn't even be wanting me playing with the ball or maybe she would choose to be playing with it whilst I'm cooking anyway so you know either way it's got to be a sort of win-win scenario hasn't it so um yeah but they are very very expensive and I have even looked on like Facebook marketplace to see whether I could get a cheaper one and they're still very expensive, even on there, you know, like even used ones. Well, because, I mean, people have obviously paid a lot for them in the first place. And I'm guessing that maybe their dog, you know, didn't get to grips with it or, you know, didn't didn't get on very well with it. And that's why they're selling them. Um, but, yeah, they're still pretty, pretty pricey, which is, you know, is not great. So, yeah, just let me know, you know, what do you think? Oh, look, that one's not quite not quite reaching around there I shall have to trim it down slightly more on the edge um yeah let me know what you think do you think they're worth getting okay, okay. Have not put our decorations up or anything for Christmas. I mean, I've said this before. We generally put our decorations up on the 1st of December. So I'm not even sure what day that is, to be honest. Um, I don't know. Is that the weekend? Maybe Friday? Something like that. So, yes, we may be um, putting our decorations up. Well, we, we will be at the weekend at some point. Um, yeah but we haven't done so far. So have you got your decorations up? You know, is it just me who's like, no, we can't possibly put them up this early. Right, just deciding which, which to put on what. Oh, do you know, I quite like this on either of these, to be honest. 
Mm, I don't know. Again, I don't think this is going to quite reach around this. Yeah, not cut it quite narrow enough. So that's going to be the decider then. We should have it like this. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to do my little folds for my, um, you know, sort of creased in the attic type appearance. Totally forgot to do those. So yeah, must do them now. Okay. Aren't these just the most gorgeous pockets? I love them so much. I can remember, you know, loving them when I did them the first time round, to be honest. And I thought they were just, you know, like genius, aren't they? They're so clever and, you know, they're just, yeah, just really, really simple and really, really lovely, aren't they? So, yeah, I really like them. Okie dokie. And we've done two already, completed like two already, which are pretty quick, aren't they? Right, this is also from that documents paper. Oh, no, it's not. This is from the um, French collection, so. Oh, this, I've obviously left this quite a wide pocket, so it's not really wanting to work on any of these, but it might work on this Savile Row one. Unless I've done that very wide as well. Mm, not too, too bad. Yeah, I could probably get away with it on there, I think. Okay. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Yeah, my son's got some time off over Christmas, so he can't wait. So um, I can't remember what my other son said his work um, is like over Christmas. I can't remember, to be honest. Yeah, he... Um, yeah, I can't remember. I actually can't even remember what his pattern was last year. It's just like a complete blank. Um, but I mean, obviously he's doing his own thing and all of that anyway, because he's older now. Um, <clears throat> but my, you know, my middle son, he um, he's only done his job for like one year so far. So I think he does have to go in at some point, but I can't remember what you know, what dates that is that he's got to go in. So I've got some ribbon here. So I think this might look quite nice on this. So I'm just going to cut that down there. Okay, okay. So, and that works out quite well because this is, you know, this was that one that I made quite wide. Okay, okay. And I will be, um, you know, trying to keep my my shabby dabby doo -da -dot -co -dot uk my website um you know pretty stocked up now between now and christmas so it is my intention to you know to have it fully stocked between now and christmas like most of the time so you know do go over there and have a look from time to time because if it's out of stock you know if things are out of stock it's hopefully only going to be you know a day or two before things are back in stock because you know I have kind of like made a <laughs> made a pledge to myself that I'm going to keep on top of it and you know get it really stocked up for Christmas so do go over there and have a look and I've got one or two other things in there that I hadn't be, um, had in there before so I've got some gorgeous wax pellet sets so I've sold the wax pellets all along um, but I've actually put some wax pellet you know boxes in there um like so they're like a gift set you know so if you were looking for anything like that for people for you know for gifts for christmas i always remember my oldest son when um one of his ex-girlfriends it was her birthday and i bought her a um sorry i'm just looking for some other ribbon color um i bought her a wax seal kit um, she was quite into arts and, well, I say arts and crafts, not really arts and crafts, really, to be honest. She was very artistic and really good drawer, um, you know, and painter and things. And, yeah, I just thought that she might quite like one. So that was what I, you know, what I got for her for her birthday one year. And, um, yeah, I think she quite liked it. I don't know if she actually did ever use it, to be honest. But it's always hard to know what to buy for people, isn't it? But, 
yeah so i only have a few of those i think there were seven i don't know there might be just six left in there um and they may be a one-off item that you know i possibly can't really get um you know to be able to offer them at a good price ever again so you know do have a look and see if they're still in there because you know like i say they're going to be something that aren't necessarily going to be restocked um or certainly not a regular not a regular item um so yeah have a look and see what you think so quite like this contrast look of this ribbon against this paper it looks good doesn't it now i'm just seeing what the time is oh my goodness 50 minutes oh my gosh right i'd best leave these and we would you know i'll do these in slow time because i've just looked and it's 50 minutes that i've been filming for that has absolutely flown by hasn't it right so we've got these ones that are sort of semi done and these obviously that that i've done first of all so let's just decorate one of these up so i'm not sure not sure which one to do oh gosh not sure i like all of these right let's just quickly ink them up with the distress ink and then decide which one to oops oh dear look what i've done here now oops, got a wet wipe hold on just going to wipe that off because obviously i dipped my ink into some glue which has now made the ink come out you know really strong so i'm just Wipe that off there. You can't really see it. Okay. Right. Okay. Go around there. Oh my goodness. It hasn't the time flown. I mean, I don't know whether that's just me. Maybe you guys are sat there bored stiff thinking, what's she talking about? The time has not flown. It's, it's been the longest hour ever, but oh, for me, it feels like, wow, the time has flown like mad. I can't believe we're actually this, you know, this far in already. It's just gone incredibly quickly, which is such a shame because I was having a lovely time. Right. OK, now I've just got these couple of bits here, which are just they were laying around on my desk from something else. But I thought, oh, actually, maybe these would look quite good. So these are my decorative edge strips. So I'm just thinking, let's just tear this man out. Are you okay, darling? My daughter's home from school today, again. She's had an upset tummy. So, well, not really an upset tummy, just a painful, very painful tummy. She was up sort of through the night with it and um, not feeling good at all. So, yeah, she's off school today. So... Now, do we want to have him there as a kind of like focal point? Now, I'm just thinking as well, maybe take a couple of these little bits. Okay. So, these are a bit like labels then, so I'm just kind of thinking they might be quite cute to have on here, mightn't they? So we have that one and then let's just have a look. Mm -hmm. Don't know what this would be like because this will be then sideways on, but we'll just, we'll just have a look and see. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? <clears throat> Just wondering, do I want it? No, yeah, down there. Just thought I'd double check whether I wanted it up the top. Um, do have the B, which might be quite nice. Oh, do you know, I'm now thinking. Shall I try and punch that out in a circle? I don't know whether it's going to fit in a circle punch, but let's have a look and see. Oh, I've got ribbon everywhere now. Because when I pulled the ribbon down to do the... Um, you know, the close, closure, the belly band piece, it knocked all my ribbon, oh, all my ribbon down. So now it's just all everywhere. Right, hang on. Right, this is my one inch circle punch. Now I don't know, like I say, whether, oops. Get 
get rid of those bits. Okay, now obviously I haven't really got time, but if I did have time, we could have like glossy accented this or something to make that, you know, stand out. Maybe could put some um, gold around there or something and then glossy accented it. But yeah, I haven't really got time for doing that. So, well, maybe it's better. Maybe it's not the right piece. Well, perhaps I'll just keep this to use this as a, um, you know, tab topper for something else. So, yeah, right. Let me just have a look through. See if I've got any other bits and pieces. Oh, I've got my shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try this one. I mean, literally, these are just things that are laying around on my desk. So I'm not even saying they're, you know, they're quite the right things or anything like that. But they just happen to be laying about, so I might as well just try them. Okay. There we go. Like that. Okay, dokie. <laughs> that was suddenly like a bit fiddly for some reason i think my scissors are a bit blunt and they're sort of you know when they come to that point where they catch on things they're a bit like that at the moment oh look at that i've i've cut it out and actually it's not really not really going to fit there well i could even have it there let me stick these down so i don't know why my glue's like seeping out like that but anyway put that one down there I thought that might have looked really strange being sideways, but actually it looks all right, doesn't it? So, yep. Okay. And that one. So I've just got them like overlapped, which I think looks really pretty. And then I'm just wondering whether we could have that there. Now, are we getting a bit too many things? Does that look a bit cluttered now? I don't really like it when there's too many bits and pieces to be honest now do we like the boot or do we like the man i don't know i like i like both to be honest uh let me just get some lace now so let's just see whether i've got okay i've got a little bit of lace here that was again just floating on the desk so it's always good to just use bits that are floating about isn't it so I can't tell whether that's the right way or the wrong way. Sometimes you can just tell, you know, by touching it and running your finger over because some of it's bumpy and some of it's not. So we can put that there, like that. Okie doke. Just wipe that bit of glue up before I dab something else in there. Uh, I've got some pearly trim. Oh, do we like the pearly trim or, hang on, I've got some blingy trim somewhere. Always good to use some blingy trim, isn't it? So, we always love using the bling. So, let me just trim that, you know, the excess little thready type bits off. Okay. Let's just do that. Oh my goodness, how yummy does that look? I love how that looks. Now, I've just got this little bit of black lace, again, just laying around on the desk. I'm thinking, I wonder if we could have that there, just sort of behind the boot. What do we think to that? I might like it. Oops. Right, I'm just going to hot glue the, the bling down. Okay, like that, yep, love that. Oh gosh, look, isn't that annoying? Because if I hadn't have 
you know, blobbed the glue on there. That would have been ideal now that I'd got the black going on. Well, we can still have it up there, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Let's just pop that on like that. Do we like the black? I mean, I've got some other finer lace here, which may be, you know, keeping it more neutral. No. Oh, I don't know, actually. Straight away, I rejected that and thought, oh, no, the black. And then just as I went to move it, I thought, oh, maybe, maybe actually. Oh gosh, now look at how long I've cut that. I mean, what's wrong with me? It's just how big do I think that boot is? So they're quite different looks, aren't they, weirdly? You know, with that, it looks quite different to the black. Oh gosh. I wish I was live and I could hear what you guys think. I think this weirdly looks more Victorian to me than the ivory, but the ivory looks very, um, does it look very elegant? Would we say that? I don't know. I, I think I like the ivory. So yeah, let's, let's just do the ivory. So just going to, whoops, pop that onto the lace. Oh, again, can't really see which is the right way and the wrong way of the lace. I can just about feel a little bit of kind of like sticky up bits on the lace there. And then if I could find my glue spreader, just got a little bit of the glue spreader left here. So what I can do is just thread this under here like that, Oops, like that. And that way, when I glue this down, it's going to catch any excess glue. So what I'll do is I will just put a bit of glue here on the boot. Now, I don't want to go too mad. I've used hot glue because that's a nice instant thing. And if that glue seeps out now, it's only going to go onto that glue spreader card, you know it's not going to spread onto my pocket. So, oops, lucky I had it there because it has indeed spread onto there. Okay, yeah, so now we'll take that out. There we go. And it was just, that's just a good way to sort of protect your, your piece. Now I can't leave it down too much because obviously the glue's still wet. Where Gosh, I'm so sorry. I just suddenly noticed that it had come up with an error saying it had run out of storage. So it had then switched off. So you didn't really miss anything. I had just literally glued this boot down and was talking about the fact that we put that card down there to catch any excess glue, which then just prevents it, you know, sticking to the, the underneath layer. So we can just quickly stuff the... Um, you know, the pocket now with a journal card. So just having a look to see if I've got any. Oh, I've printed like pink on the back of them, which then I don't feel like they really. Mm. Well, it probably doesn't really matter, to be honest. Yeah, perhaps I'm being a little bit, a little bit OCD with my, um, you know, matchy matchy business going on here. So. Yeah, probably doesn't really matter, so. All right, okay. Well, I have got a couple that are inked up already. So, yep, got these couple of journal cards. These are just from my Victorian Beauties, um, you know, printables. So, yep, we could have this one. Yep, that one goes in there. Got this here which I mean that's just perfect in there isn't it so I will just ink this up now these craft papers I do have these in my shop on my website and they're just brilliant they're so quick and easy to use as a little paper filler you know as a pocket stuffer and what I really like about them they're not white on the back you know this is ivory so you know just with a bit of ink and it looks pretty nice you know I don't mind it being not coffee dyed or anything it you know it just kind of looks good as it is so just quickly 
ink around the edges a little bit. That's it. So that goes into that one. And then... Right. I'll use this one. It is already inked. So, yep. Uh, let's go in there. Yep, that one could go in there. And then think into the front shall we use a dark one so hold on a second okay so i've got some more of those craft papers but this time a darker one which you know is quite nice just for a bit of contrast and what i'll do i'll just fold that into thirds like that just so it's obviously you know smaller and slimmer to go in there it doesn't really need inking because it's this dark craft color anyway Ink is probably not even going to show if I'm truthful, but that can just tuck into that little belly band piece. Isn't that just such a gorgeous pocket? I absolutely love, love, love how that looks. And you know, I don't very often do neutrally coloured things, so yeah, I feel quite um quite proud of myself for actually not adding colour to that. So that was unusual for me. Uh right, so let's see how many we've done. One, two three four five six seven so this one's completely finished and then we've also got here oh we've got quite a few over here oh i can get them so seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so i mean obviously you know seven or eight of those need finishing off um but and i mean all of them need decorating but yeah, pretty good. I mean, they're very quick and easy to make, as I say, and oh my goodness, aren't they just gorgeous? So yeah, I hope you like them. Totally not my idea. Like I say, they came from Rachel over at Roxy Creations during her weekly challenge. Um, and yeah, I hope that you like them. Hope you have fun if you decide to make some. And thank you so much for watching everybody. And I will see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Have a great week. Thanks then. Bye.